Okay, I enjoyed making the uh, tray so much. I'm going to do another one, but this one's going to be totally different. Just going to do another tray. Um, trying to decide the amounts that I want to use. I think, I think for my what normally would be clear, I'm going to make it um, a little bit brown. So I'm going to start with some brown Bray Reese alcohol ink. A couple of drops. Just to slightly tint it. So it's kind of made it an amber color. So I'm going to use a little Bombay ink. It says brown, but it really kind of looks not brown enough. I do want it transparent there. So I made it a little bit more brown and I'm going to put maybe a drop or so of black. Try one. Okay, that darkened it plenty. So maybe I want to add a little resin back into it. Just going to put a few drops of gold. Gives it a little, just a little shimmer, which is nice. So in this one, I've got one that's got about three and a half ounces in it. I'm going to put white alcohol ink. Some cast and craft. And some sparkle white. I used Artist Resin Medium Viscosity by Counterculture. Equal parts A and B is the green and yellow label. Okay, so this other one, I'm going to make it, this is a uh, Prolex by Jacquard, and it is uh, antique bronze, and then I'm going to use my Etsy Funshine Color Shop, which is the white sparkle, sparkle white, I'm going to use Brunette, which is even darker. They almost, they're really about the same. So hopefully that'll show up in that color. I'm going to put in some uh, brown alcohol ink. So this is probably about two and a half ounces in this cup. So I've got my timer going. I'm up to 12 minutes after mixing. And I'm going to wait till about 20, 25 minutes before I do anything. <clears throat> I'll keep feeling how warm those feel. That's I've got uh, Myers Imports German Mica Glitter. Flitter, not glitter. So this is um, uh, it's a beautiful kind of bronzy gold. 
I don't know which color it is. I'll have to look it up. Okay, so it looks different in here than it does in there because of the color of the mold. So it's been 22 minutes now. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead. It's been about 25 minutes. Give these a final stir. I like it. I've got these knobs. I may use them and I may not. Um, I was thinking of this, but this is so shimmery. I may go with something else. The underside will be beautiful, but you really need to put the handles in on this side and put the other coat, and I can't do that with it being on the underside, so this will have to be my top side regardless of how it ends up. So I'm going to actually heat it with the heat gun just to get it moving in a little bit before it totally sets up because it is thin. I'm going to cover this and I'll be back when it is ready for the final coat. You can also spritz with alcohol to get rid of bubbles. Okay, so I have these knobs. They're kind of aged and I was thinking no, but then I kind of like them. So, it's very flexible. It's been um, two hours, but since the resin was thin, I know that it was set up quicker. So, I think I'm going to go ahead or I could do the clear. But I like these just because they're different. So I can touch this and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and mix more resin so that these will lay in the resin.
Okay, let's take these things out. Pretty, pretty. I never get tired of this design. Never. It's so pretty. And then the tray. That perfectly filled. That didn't have any spillage. So there is the tray and the knobs are set into the resin. And there's the other side which is really, really pretty. But that's the thing about when you're doing a tray, you got to set those knobs in. Or that's the way I like to do it. Let's put it that way. But that's really pretty. But I think this side is just as lovely. So, there's the tray and the coasters. And this one I had layered up. It was with alcohol inks and then I put gold on the top which didn't sink and so I had to put another clear coat on top of the gold. So that's pretty on that side and there's this side which I just dripped the alcohol inks in and used a skewer and drug it in in all those places and so it uh, has some shimmer, kind of like fire looking that comes through. That's really kind of pretty. That might, that might give me some ideas for something else. So that's quite lovely. So there are those beautiful pieces on this big, beautiful counterculture mat that's three feet by two feet. Got to get yours at Counterculture. They're fabulous, worth every penny. Thicker and better quality than any mat out there anywhere is a guarantee on my end. That's what I believe. A whole heck of a lot better than Lowly Vafe. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will make more. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.